LA for a couple of weeks because my girlfriend lives here. And I want to document the process of getting started somewhere new. And this is my first week. I am new to LA and to be honest, I feel pretty lost here. And that's where I want to start. Get more familiar with the city. My first task is to get a physical map. And yes, of course, I use Google Maps all the time to navigate. But the thing is, you kind of just punch in your destination and you're magically there. And it doesn't really give me context to where I am exactly. But that is what I want and that is what I need. More context and orientation in this city. Just this map that helps me understand the city. A map that kind of grows with me and the experience of finding my way in LA. The California Visitor Center has free maps. It's nine miles away. Let's go. Nine miles or 14 and a half kilometers. Google Maps is saying that this should take me three and a half hours. And Google Maps also seems to be saying, do you really want to walk this? But yeah, why wouldn't I? I walk everywhere in Germany and I think it's a great way to get a connection to a city. And I think wandering around a city is also a great way to let your mind wander. The streets of LA are full of interesting little spots and things to observe. I keep seeing all these free materials, washers, handles, pieces of wood. I'm obviously taking all of this with me. I guess it's free material, right? And then I see it. The Holy Grail. Two brand new rolls of pink tape. Free on the streets of LA. Well, next to a cup of human shit. So I learned my lesson fast. There is no such thing as free pink tape. LA is a city that's not made for pedestrians. It's a city that's made for cars. And walking around in it, every once in a while I see an entrance to a world that is also not made for me. Everything in LA is a bit rougher and more intimidating. Even the squirrels look like they've seen some shit. So far, I spent most of my time in the more beautiful sides of LA. But the LA I am seeing today is totally different. And the contrast is a bit shocking. Everything is so <laughs> dirty. But I start to look closer and I keep finding all these little signs of hospitality, warmth and love. And that's exactly what I need. Not only a physical map to give me orientation, also kind of like an emotional map that makes me feel connected to the city.
Holy moly, it's getting hot. <laughs> the sun is insane. I have one more hour. minutes after five hours of walking around in the city that clearly does not want me to walk around in it finding really cool materials and dealing with some frustrations I finally made it to the California Welcome Center Do you think this <laughs> this will help me <laughs> walking through LA? <laughs> oh my god! How you walked like five hours for this? Nine miles. <laughs> <laughs> so you lived in uh, in LA for how long? Twenty years? Yeah, twenty years. Do you think um, this will be? There are exactly zero street names. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even notice. Um, we should show it to Simone. Let's see what Simone thinks. Yeah, it's <laughs> a good idea. It took me five hours. <laughs> Why? And when I got there, they were out of <laughs> No! I have one now because she printed it out. <laughs> it's like a screen grab from Google Maps. It's not even Google Maps. It's worse. So what do you think? Was it, was it just a waste of time? Waste of, for the map? Yeah. Um, no, I think it was, I think it was worth it because I got started and that was the whole, that was the whole goal for the first week is just to find a way to start in LA and I did. Just this premise of getting a free map made me walk nine miles. I connected a little bit more with the city and I also like the ending that they didn't have a map for me. Maybe there is no map for this, right? Yeah, maybe it's a perfect metaphor. Yeah. <laughs> you find your own way. Yeah. Um, I have to say, I can't, I can't wait to build something. And this walk also gave me a project idea. So hopefully next week I can spend a little bit more time in the basement shop, get started there, and maybe make something. Yeah. Oh, yeah. ending. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I'm enjoying my first piece of art and I will see you next week with a new video. <laughs> Bye!